with the young starters, as many young starters as you have, will you have a pitch count maybe longer into the season as opposed to having veteran pitchers? Well, one of the things, Jimmy, that I'm planning on doing with this staff, because uh, you, when you look at it, if uh, out of three of the four right now, you got Andrew Lee, who's coming off, is a year and a half out of Tommy John surgery that he had out of high school. Hunter Martin, who's a true freshman, and Kyle Serrano, who's a true freshman, is the development process for all three of those guys. With the the confidence that I have, we're going to have that, and the depth we're going to, I feel we're going to have in our bullpen. I could see me telling our starters. Go pitch me a little league game, six innings. Get us to the six inning, and we'll hand the ball off to the bullpen after that because we're going to have some good quality coming after that. So for, for a while, that's going to be my plan to let them. So when we get to late April and May and hopefully early June, those guys don't have 120 innings. They have maybe 75 or 80 innings, which is going to make a huge difference not only for late in the year, but it's going to make a huge difference for their career as we go through the next two or three years of their career here at Tennessee. You talk about the, the three starters you're going to have, so Lee and then two freshmen. Just what sticks out on each of those guys? That well, at, probably the reason why I decide on Andrew Lee as the uh, as the first guy is um, the fact that he. For the most part, he's pounded the zone in the fall. He's 89-91 uh, with his fastball, uh, uh, signs of a good breaking ball and a changeup, but he's, he's a tone setter. And I believe the Friday guy is a tone setter. Uh, I can't promise that Andrew Lee is going to be our Friday starter all the way through this. Uh, those, the players will dictate that as we go. But Andrew sets the tone by throwing strikes, and he's got good stuff. He's got a deception in his delivery that guys don't get good swings off him all the time. So he'll set the tone for us Friday. <clears throat> On Saturday, Hunter Martin has probably been our most consistent pitcher through the fall. Uh, he reminds me a lot of a young man I had at Irvine that was a, ended up being a superstar named Scotty Gorgon. Um, Hunter is a little bit taller stature than Scotty. But uh, Hunter is a three-pitch mix guy. He pitches down in the strike zone tremendously. He's got a great changeup and a good slider and a curveball. Uh, good athlete on the mound, holds runners well. Uh, probably has earned the right to be a Friday guy in this program. He's a true freshman, though. And I wouldn't do that to either one of him or Kyle to early on. Um, Kyle will be the, the Sunday morning guy. Uh, Kyle has uh, tremendous stuff, um, huge upside. Hasn't disappointed in the fall. He's gone through some growing pains. Obviously, with my close relationship with him, I realize that uh, I'm proud to say Kyle only probably has 100 innings of, of experience throughout his whole career. So he's not one of those young men that's been overused. Um, he wasn't a travel ball kid throughout his whole life. He grew up around the game in the dugout with me. Uh, so there's still some inexperience, but the upside is tremendous with him. Could go anywhere from 91 to 95. Um, he's got a good curveball. And, and has really developed a great changeup. Um, and then Nick Williams on, on Sunday, uh, Nick's got all the experience, you know, 91, 92, 93 with his fastball, uh, good curveball that he uses as an off-speed pitch and has a ton of years of experience of pitching in this, in this conference for four years.